Leslie and Paul. We have been partners uh, at Divine Llama Vineyards for a little over a year now. Uh, when we first purchased um, and became partners, business was booming. Um, so because of that, we started doing some expansions. We added a large pavilion covered seating area with heaters. Um, we cleared about eight more acres for planting new vines. And then March and the coronavirus shut us down. So we still have to keep plowing along, no pun intended actually. We still have to prune, we still have to spray the vines, we still agonize over the frost damage we incurred this past week and um, how much yield that's going to impact in this year's harvest. So even though we don't have customers and we don't have money coming in, it's still sort of day-to-day -day business as usual for us. Um, we can't stop taking care of the vines just because we're not selling wine because it takes approximately three years once a new vine's planted before you actually get a harvest. And then depending on your style of wine and whether it's a white or red, it could the earliest you could be bottling is, you know, five years from planting. So we're in the tasting room and uh, it's closed now because of the coronavirus, but we don't have any sales except from the tasting room. We don't have any outside sales. We don't market our wine in grocery stores or restaurants. All of our wine is sold here on site. So when we got the order to close, that literally stopped all of our sales. Now we are trying to do uh, curbside sales. So we're open on Saturday afternoons. People can call in and order, or they can go online and order, and we will uh, meet them outside and, and deliver their wine to them. Right now we have 11 different wines. Um, we name our blends after our llamas because you can't name a blend after whatever varietal it's made up of. So we name them after our, our llamas. Um, so we're, we're filling in based on sort of what we've heard from our customers and also like for instance I'm dying to do a sparkling. Um, so we, we're you know doing the sparkling to satisfy me and um, we hope the customers will like it. <laughs> Another part of our business that has been shut down totally is our llama tracks. They've gotten really, really uh, popular recently. A llama trek basically is a hike in the woods with a llama. And since we have an enough llamas, we can take as many as 14 people on a hike. And we hike the property. It's a little over two miles. It's, it's quite strenuous. Uh, everyone seems to have a good time, but because of the coronavirus, we had to cut that out totally. And probably we're done for the rest of this spring. We don't do the hikes or the treks in the summer because it's too hot for the llamas and for the people. So we usually stop about mid-May, mid start up next fall, mid-September. Hopefully we can start mid-September, but we have totally shut that down also. So to the point of, um, you know, we may not be open for business. There's still plenty to do after out here on the farm. It is currently prime birthing season for llamas. Um, largest llama farm in the southeast and one of the top breeders in the country. So we, we specifically breed for spring and fall babies. So we're sort of right in the midst of the spring babies birthing season. We've had two, um, actually we had them since we've gone into lockdown. The oldest is about a month old. Little girl, her name is Pandemic. We're calling her Pam. Um, the most recent is about a week old and his name's Lockdown. Um, so we're trying to have some fun with that. Uh, we have five more due. Uh, we have one due this coming Monday and one due this coming Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. Llamas are pregnant for give or take about a year. 
So uh, we'll see how they go. Um, and then we've got 22 due for the fall. So the llamas keep us busy, and with 97 of them now, um, 97 of them, there's always something to do. So yeah, every day out here, there's plenty to do. Um, plenty of grass to be mowed, plenty of uh, starting a garden, so plenty of planting and weeding and, and uh, tending to the vines and tending to the llamas. Even though we, we love being out here and it's been quiet, we're very anxious to have our friends come back. We have regulars that come out here just about every weekend and we love to just sit and typically on Sundays we close the place down and any half drunk bottles that we have back here on the bar, we'll take them out and just hand out to all our customers and that's really what we love about this place, being able to just kick back with our customers and enjoy it as much as our customers do. So we have truly, truly missed that and hope that soon we'll be able to bring them back and open back up with our new expansion, the new, new vines, and we will practice some social distancing when we open back up. We've got our chairs and tables sort of spread out a little bit more, but we're very anxious to do that. Our emails and Facebook people are indicating that they're anxious to get back out too, so we're, we're sort of think it's going to be great once we finally can open up.